Hey, welcome back to your region at 120. I am Jeff Clip, and this is a series of 120 videos of things that I learned as part of a Bachelor of Computer Science at the University of Virginia. And today we're going to be talking about locking horns on campus, or debating, uh, or uh, arguing with people on the internet, perhaps. Uh, a lot of people kind of warn against this, and I've kind of talked about this in a couple of the other videos so far, about how you know, people will say, oh, well, you can't, you know, don't bother spending time in the comments section of, uh, you know, certain, you know, websites like Facebook, for example, has horrible, horrible comments sometimes on some threads. Uh, and so from that, they kind of generalize. It's like, well, don't argue with anyone or don't get into arguments or don't waste your time arguing with people. Uh, but there's a time and a place for everything. And that place is college or university, right? Uh, there, and arguing specifically, uh, there is a space that is kind of open in the academic world uh, where there's a lot of different perspectives, both historical and current, uh, from you know all parts of the world, and they all kind of meet on university campus. And although there's some movements kind of against this in recent times, as there have been in pretty much all of history, uh, it still is, to a large degree, the place where you can go, where different views have to kind of come together and you know knock heads. And so you end up getting into the discussions very easily uh, with people relating to your co course content and different ways of perceiving it, or perhaps just on random topics uh, because you have a whole bunch of smart people in one place at one time. Uh, I've heard uh, a description, I, th I think it was Mensa groups, where it's like in any room of Mensa, or N, you know, people in, a, in Mensa, you'll have N plus one opinions on any given topic. And that seems to be pretty accurate about the university in general, where you usually have uh, a kind of a very dry uh, place that only, you know, only a little spark can set off an entire series of conversations that spiral out of control in all different directions, especially if you have a lot of curious people uh, see the last video on curiosity uh, in, in involved in that. And so the greater your ability to draw on the interpretation of others on the material that you're trying to learn, the more that you will remember it and the more anchors that you will have to kind of solidify it as memories, as something that you will be able to recall in the future. Playfully fight over the contents of your courses with your fellow students. You know, don't get too pissed off over it. I mean, it is a university after all. You're here to learn. A lot of the times, especially in the first couple of years, you will learn things that are kind of set up for you to step on and then trip over, or s step on and then go to the next step on. And so they won't actually be all that useful all on their own, but you will encounter people who have different opinions on those particular topics. So, for example, you know, I, I think it's Goodwill Hunting was the movie with Matt Damon. And I know it's, it's you know, fictional evidence and whatever, uh, but there, there's a scene in that movie which was kind of, uh, kind of illustrative of that, where he kind of points out, you know, as a first year you're going to learn this, and then and as a second year you're going to learn why that's not true, and there's exceptions to that. And in the third year you're going to learn why the second year guy was actually wrong, and the first year guy was actually right, and that the exceptions don't actually apply, and et cetera, et cetera. And all sorts of fields have these kinds of issues where science builds on itself and it understands things in a more general way. Uh, and the deeper you go into that science, the deeper your understanding on that topic is. And it doesn't matter the topic. That ranges from chemistry to economics to physics to, you know, e even, you know, philosophy, stuff like that. So uh, regardless of your topic, you're probably going to run into people who disagree with you at your level on some point of your life. Sometimes they'll have justifiable reasons for doing so. Sometimes they'll just be trying to poke at you uh, to get a rise out of you. Uh, that happens. You know, there, there's status games going on. People are trying to, you know, get uh, busy with the, the people of the opposite gender, sometimes the same gender, and there's, you know, political games involved with that, and sometimes you just want to make your opponent look bad. So that happens too. But regardless of all that stuff that's going on, I mean, I, I got into arguments and disagreed with, uh, you know, for example, Ryan is a second year or so. And I still don't have arguments and responses to his arguments uh, that you know, were kind of criticisms of my worldview at that time. You know, his criticisms were that good that you know, ten years later, I still sometimes think of them. I go, man, I wish I had a smart-ass response for him at that point. And I still don't have a smart-ass response, uh, although still thinking about it. Right? So it kind of keeps you thinking about it. it, keeps you building on your previous ideas, trying to improve them, trying to make them better, trying to make them optimal in the ways that you know, are, are better uh, and more uh, conducive to convincing other people. 
And yes, the university is a great place to have that happen. You can sometimes get away with it in other places than the university. Specifically, if you are able to use the internet anonymously, you can get into anonymous conversations and have a very similar experience, especially uh, on certain communities where, where anonymous communication is uh, kind of not frowned upon uh, so much. So for example, in the in the past, Slashdot used to be really good for this because you could log in as anonymous coward and then just post stuff. And sometimes people would just ignore you. Sometimes they take you seriously and start arg arguing with you. And it was great because you'd get all sorts of viewpoints uh, from the completely ridiculous to the absolute you know, expert of the field all coming together in one place at one time. And it's possible to learn in those situations because you're not afraid of looking bad if you say the wrong thing. And so ideas can come out that you wouldn't know necessarily come out in any other situations. So consider taking some of that 10% time that I talked about in one of the previous videos and trolling the internet with it. Just be creative with it. Don't just make people look bad on purpose. Try to, you know, do interesting things. Do do interesting things with their arguments. Make make their arguments go to the next step and then look obscene or something like that. I don't know. Do something like that. Uh, but as, as mentioned before, the university is, is kind of the ideal place for stuff like that to happen. In part because, uh, you know, the... It, it, it's a little bit of a safe place to disagree in that uh, it's better to be wrong and embarrassed uh, in, in the ivory tower than it is to be wrong and embarrassed outside of the world walls of the ivory tower. And yes, you can get in trouble in the university. You can get shanked in the university. It's not that you can, can't get shanked outside of the university or inside. You know, it, it's possible, of course. Uh, I, I've encountered people, for example, that think that all Muslims, or all non-Muslims, especially white Europeans, should be killed to a man in the University of Virginia. There are people like that there. There are also people who think that all Muslims should be killed. It's a complete, you know, complete separation between one extreme and the other and everything in between. And so you have all these different groups of people that mutually disagree on practically every level, and yet somehow a lot of things kind of come out of that. And you start learning things due to the, the different perceptions that different groups have of each other and of themselves and how which of parts of those perceptions are accurate and which parts are not and you can learn things about that so you know take the devil's ad advocate sometimes you know just even if you don't believe something try arguing for it once in a while help defeat the ash conformity problem that's discussed in one of the, i think it was the bandwagon video argument or the bandwagon argument video uh and more than that intentionally see if any of your beliefs are believed purely because of your upbringing or context rather than the truth in truth, most beliefs that you know do have a component of how certain you are I in them uh, that has nothing to do with the truth involved with it, but has everything to do with the things that are correlated with that belief, with that thing in your culture, uh, with per perhaps in, in music that you're partaking in. Uh, things like how good you are in bed can impact what you believe politically because of the people you end up associating with because of it, and the end up with their of political beliefs informing what you believe, in, at least in part. It's all connected, and so you can have, uh, if you just change kind of one thing and play with it, see if that one thing allows you to see the truth in a different way. See if it helps, uh, but and be willing to be wrong, be willing to be embarrassed. Go back to that ar video, right? It, looking bad happens, and yes, you can suffer long-term consequences if you have you know, a status hit at, while you're at university. But again, it's better to have that hit happen when you're in university than when you're outside university and your life depends on it uh, in a much more serious and immediate way. One of the things that made the Ionia of Thal or Thales and uh, De De Democritus and all those other kind of ancient pre-Socratic Greeks uh, so fruitful is that there was a lot of people and with a lot of different perspectives and religions all hashing it out at the same time in one place at one time. And there was progress made in our interpretation of how the universe works because of all those different perspectives, of all the different approaches that were being taken and different perspectives that were used to approach all those different things. And so the you know, university campus is ideally the place where that conflict can happen in a peaceful way, in a way that involves writing things down, getting it outside of your head, and formally going through and testing things formally going through and using science, double-blind experiments, using the Bayesian rule, using things that you can learn using the laws of physics, using the laws of, you know, any other law that we can detect as per the Demo Democritus video. You know, you, you, if you can get it to the point where you can start resolving your differences 
on a logical level rather than a physical level, then you can do much better than just pure chance of who's got the better vacuum. So, uh, as usual, if you have any questions about uh, arguments uh, that you've got in, uh, and perhaps, or arguments that you could have gotten into, feel free to ask anywhere where this video is posted. Uh, and uh, as usual, there should be a Bitcoin donation address in the bottom here so that you can fund arguing on the internet, uh, which I spend at least a good part of my life doing. Uh, and uh, hopefully you enjoy. Uh, and if you, I guess, disagree vehemently uh, at this video, feel free to also uh, start a trolling thread uh, anywhere where this video is posted as well. See you in that thread. Talk to you then.